So imagine this, you have your dream PC setup all set up with a 20 Ti or maybe even two, a Ryzen 3950X or maybe even a 10900K. You may have an amazing gaming monitor that's like 4K, 144 hertz, everything. But one aspect that many people forget when creating their dream PC is audio. This is the GSP 600 by Sennheiser, which I got sent a couple of months ago. And I've been kind of putting off making this review because how do you review something like this? A $200 headset. Well, I think I finally managed to, you know, consolidate all my thoughts. So let's get going. Well, straight off the bat, one thing you notice is that this thing is a built like a tank. They are absolutely massive, built from the ground up to be comfortable with tons of pillows and adjustments everywhere. However, one thing you notice immediately when you put them on is that they are a bit on the heavy side, weighing around 400 grams, which is a pretty, pretty heavy for a headset. Now, most of that is the really firm and strong construction of this thing. And of course, all of the different cushions to make it comfortable also add to the weight. However, it is still pretty heavy. And even though you would expect in a headset like this that costs $200 to have tons of options when it comes to, you know, adjusting everything so it perfectly fits your head no matter the shape. True, they do achieve that, but I'm still kind of surprised how hard it was to make them comfortable. Let me explain. Overall, when it comes to adjustments, you may have two options. Number one is the normal size adjustments and also the pressure adjustments on top. Unlike with a lighter headset, it was a lot harder to determine what exactly is comfortable for this one, if that makes sense. It was a lot harder to decide what is kind of the intended way of making them comfortable, because no matter what, with the weight, they did exert quite a lot of pressure and it did make my head hurt if I had them on for way too long, which is never a good sign. Because for example, with increased pressure, of course, it's a bit heavier on the head, but if I decrease it, then the ear cups start to just flop around. So it's almost difficult to make them sit comfortably, but overall, it is still built amazingly well. They even have these amazing hinges on the ear cups to allow for some more flexibility. But also at the same time, I absolutely hate them because I always get my hair stuck on them. And if you are someone with long hair like me, then you will get your hair stuck on that and it's gonna rip out your hair when you try to remove them. It's really painful, it's really annoying, and I really wish there was a way to really avoid it. And I can't count how many times these little hinges already pulled out my hair. So that all sounds rather negative. However, overall, these are still a really solid pair of headsets. The overall aesthetic is amazing. They look more like something out of a airplane control tower, which makes them pretty good if you can only caught the Microsoft Flight Simulator bug. However, being built well is just what you expect with a $200 headset, but what you also probably expect is actual good audio quality and of course with such an expensive headset from Sennheiser um, nonetheless of course the quality is amazing with frequency response between 10 and 30,000 hertz so compare that to a more normie headset like a Void Pro from Corsair which has about 20 to 20,000 frequency response so quite a big difference there and as you can expect the audio is so crisp and lifelike with this headset and for the purposes of this review i ran it two ways number one straight from the motherboard like most people will run and how i always run these via my sound card and sure straight from the motherboard the audio wasn't as crisp it felt a bit more flat but it was still absolutely amazing compared even to my old Corsair voids. And you are going to get people that say that, you know, frequency response and everything, but the frequency response is great. And I guess you can just trust me on saying that the audio is really rich and crisp. Did I mention that when you put these on, you are pretty much deaf to the outside world? Now in the year of 2020, that is probably a really good thing. And it's just amazing how much it cancels out any background noise just by the structure of the ear cups. There is no magic involved. There's no like, you know, active noise cancelling on the headphones themselves, it's all passively done by the actual structure. So even when I'm talking to you right now, you can see it's not even plugged in, I can still barely hear anything else. I can barely even hear myself. For all I know, I could be shouting at you. But speaking of which, you may have noticed that this headset isn't plugged in. Well, that's for good reason. No, it is not wireless, but you basically have interchangeable cables for you to use with this headset. One that splits off into a mic and a headphone cable at the end, and one that's just a single cable designed for consoles, so you can swap them out, which is really great. I, I believe it's absolutely fine. I found it that it also allows you to quickly change between sources in a way, you know, have this connected up to your phone, have another cable connected up to your PC and just swap them around. The only real issue is that you don't get a lot of feedback for when the cable is, you know, fully plugged in. I remember when I first got this headset, and I did the opening for it, which I highly recommend you check out over here in the iCards. 
At first, the audio sounded very weird and echoey and I had no idea what was going on. Turns out the cable was inserted properly. I really wish it had some like tactile feedback, just like a mic, to let you know when the cable is fully inserted. And of course, since it is a more gaming oriented headset, it of course has a mic, which I also absolutely love. Now the frequency response on it isn't amazing, but also it is a headset mic. It's pretty much amazing for anything you'd normally use a headset mic on, be it talking to us on Discord, maybe even live streaming, anything like that it's great for. If you were planning on maybe using this headset mic to record anything more professional, then I'm sorry, but you just have to re-examine some of your life choices. And what's also great is that, unlike some other headsets that have a dedicated on and off mic button, with this one, all you have to do is simply turn the mic down, and when you hear a slight click, it toggles the mic on, and everything is fine. It's just a better method than trying to feel around the headset or the cable or wherever else to trying to turn the mic on. The tactile feedback you get from turning down the mic is pretty obvious and also what's great about a mic is that it has a nice included muffler. Because That's one thing I absolutely hated about my past Corsair Void headset is that the muffler on the mic would just fall off wherever it wanted but here it's integrated into the whole casing of the microphone which is great not to mention the fact that this microphone ha also has active noise cancelling which is less exciting than sounds in the world of rtx voice and even discord now experimenting with active noise cancelling it's great that's included but also it's just becoming way more common and less of a selling point at this point and if you're wondering this is what the audio from the microphone sounds like so like i said pretty decent for a headset and of course you would probably expect me to recommend this headset. True, I would recommend it, but only when you fit quite a few specific circumstances. Because for $200, the value of this thing, that's enough to get you another tier of graphics card or CPU, or maybe even two tiers up from whatever you are planning on buying. And for many people who just don't care about audio, they may be fine with just even like a 70, 50, or even less expensive headset. This is truly only for people who, one, just can't survive without good audio, or two, they already have a really good PC going and you know, they have $200 spare that they can really put towards anything else and they can just go for better audio. And so if you have $200, I'll definitely advise, you know, using it towards any other upgrade in your PC that will actually improve performance before going for this. But if you do have $200 spare, then this is an absolutely great choice, especially seeing how for such a great headset with such good audio quality, it's actually kind of cheap. Because really, audio file grade equipment does get really expensive. So these are great if you don't want to get into the, you know, the world of thousand dollar headphones, but still want great audio without completely breaking the bank. So yes, they are absolutely great, but again, just buy them at the right time. And hey, if you are so rich and you can afford a $200 headset like this, then maybe check out my Patreon. Because even a $1 a month is a long way in helping make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. And hey, if you have $200 spare for a headset, come on, we all know that a $1 a month won't hurt you, right? Jokes aside, it does really mean a lot and I do really appreciate it and it does make a difference on the channel. Down in the video below, you'll also find our Amazon links if you want to buy these or pretty much whatever else on Amazon. Because no matter what you buy through our link, whether it's this headset or whatever else, you don't pay anything extra and we get part of the money in order to improve the channel. So literally whatever you buy, it helps. We've literally even made money from people buying mushrooms and canned soup from our Amazon link. So yes, it really gets that insane. Down there you also find a link to my Discord if you want to talk to me or other people about this or whatever else really. You can give suggestions for future videos or literally whatever you like. But I guess that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember subscribe like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'm next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.